ever wondered why ice floats on water? It's a question that has puzzled us for centuries, but the answer is a remarkable trip into the realm of scientific understanding. Now, consider this scenario. You've surely observed pebbles plunging in a lake, hefty books descending rapidly to the ground, or even a penny fading into the darkness of a wishing fountain. It's a no-brainer that weightier items habitually submerge. So what's the story with ice? It's hard as a rock and appears heavy, yet it serenely floats on your chilled beverage or the icy surface of a lake during winter. It challenges our routine perceptions and triggers a sense of wonder. Could it be some form of sorcery? Or is there a logical, scientific rationale that can decode enigma? It's certainly not sorcery or any such fanciful concept. It's a mesmerizing blend of physics and chemistry, involving concepts of density and molecular structure that provides the answer. We invite you on an enlightening journey that explores the science behind this curious phenomenon. It's a complex topic that may seem daunting at first, but with a little patience and curiosity, you'll discover the fascinating reasons why ice floats. So buckle up as we dive into the science behind this intriguing phenomenon. The secret to this mystery lies in a scientific principle named density. Imagine having a small container. The contents you fill it with can be as light as feathers or as heavy as pebbles. Even if the container's size remains unchanged, the weight of the contents alters based on what you fill it with. This, in simplest terms, is the essence of density, the measure of mass per unit volume. Now, projecting this concept onto water molecules, their behavior varies under diverse temperature conditions. When water undergoes heating, the molecules start to move rapidly and sporadically, reducing its density. Conversely, during cooling, these molecules slow their pace and condense, increasing the water's density. However, the intriguing part is when water freezes into ice. Here, the molecules organize themselves in a unique pattern that occupies more space, unexpectedly making the ice less dense than the water from which it originated. To conclude, the phenomenon of ice floating comes down to its lower density compared to water. But the question remains, why does this occur in the first place? So, the reason why ice floats is because it is less dense than water. But how does this happen? Let's explore. Water has a unique property that sets it apart from other substances. Unlike others, its molecular structure changes as it cools down. Whereas most substances become denser in their solid state, water defies this norm. It's a rule breaker in the world of chemistry, marching to its own beat. The secret lies in the way its molecules behave when water freezes. They arrange themselves in a specific hexagonal pattern, akin to honeycomb. This structure needs more space than when the molecules are in their liquid state. Let's draw an analogy. Think about people in a town square. When moving freely, they occupy lesser space. But let's say they join hands forming a giant circle. They would now cover more ground. This is what happens with water molecules when they freeze. They spread out, making ice less dense than water. A fascinating scientific anomaly. This curious characteristic of water isn't merely an interesting tidbit. It has significant consequences for Earth's ecosystem. It influences climate patterns and supports aquatic life during winter. It's this unique molecular formation that makes ice float on water. This isn't just an intriguing fact, it's a vital aspect of life as we know it. And because of this unique molecular arrangement, ice floats on water. So we've discovered why ice floats on water. But why does it matter? Intricate scientific principles are at play when we observe an ice cube float. It all comes down to the phenomenon of density. Specifically, how water behaves as it changes its form from liquid to solid. The magic happens when water freezes. It expands, thereby decreasing its density, which is why ice floats. This isn't just a fun fact to impress at parties. It also has far-reaching implications in our world. Take the natural environment, for instance. This principle is vital for aquatic life during harsh winters. The floating ice acts as an insulator, retaining warmth beneath the frozen, creating a habitable environment for marine life. Furthermore, the floating ice plays a significant role in climate regulation. It serves as a mirror, reflecting sunlight back into space which aids in Earth's cooling. On a more personal note, think about your daily routines. From iced lattes to chilled cocktails, floating ice ensures our drinks are cooled evenly, enhancing our enjoyment. Next time you see an ice cube bobbing in your drink, remember, it's not just cooling your beverage, it's also showcasing a fascinating scientific principle.